So this past weekend, I competed at the ADCC, and as you can see, I got a little guile on here. Look at that thing. It's always this high. It's always the left one for some reason. Um, but this this morning, I sent out an email because I'm going through this week. I'm going to be sending out emails talking about my experiences from the ADCC, kind of sharing some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and everything else. And the email that I sent out this morning was about a, a, a comment that I saw on Instagram where someone, when on the picture that of us on the podium where you see me in third place, which obviously means I lost a match, they... Um, Posted, yeah, you beat that YouTube guy, or you know, you beat that YouTube YouTuber, whatever it is, right? And you know, I kind of laughed about it, and I didn't take too much offense to it because I kind of get it, right? Like, there's so much bullshit on social media where you know, there's people that, like, for instance, I run a, a, a business, right? And I'll get targeted for these ads where people are trying to teach you the business success secrets of how to run a business, right? And then I'll research who these people are and what they've done. And what I've realized is, is that a lot of these people selling me these business success secrets have never actually ran a business before. Their, their, their only business is teaching other people how to run a business. And to me, maybe you can do it, maybe it works, that's fine. But for me, I like learning from people that have been in the trenches and done it, because otherwise it just seems like bullshit to me, right? It seems like you're just talking and not really walking the walk. I know uh, my girlfriend, she, she knows a, a couple that's kind of like popular in the fitness uh, niche. And they would be on Instagram posting these happy, happy, happy pictures, right? We're so happy. And there was one picture where they're posting this picture and they're, they're like, we're so in love and we're living our best life, all this bullshit. And then the next week they get a divorce, right? So they're just like, oh, you're full of shit. And even, you know, in, even in, in personal stuff, there's a, a coach that I know in jiu-jitsu that he like talks about, you know, living the jiu-jitsu lifestyle, bruh, that kind of stuff. Post those kind of pictures. And then some of his students that know me personally, They've told me that he doesn't train, he doesn't teach, he doesn't roll almost ever. They never really see him. The only time he comes out of his office is to say, hey guys, we got some seminars coming up, got to sell you on those, or I'm going to push some new t-shirts on you. And then when he's done doing that, back to his back office he goes. So again, I get it, right? It's full of shit and you kind of, you know, you kind of want to know. It's like, it's like a, it's a trust thing, right? Like if you bought a car, you want to know, the, you want to be able to trust the person that's selling the car, selling you the car because you don't want to end up broken down on the side of the road. And like that, you know, the people that you guys put your trust into, whether it be in person or like a guy like me online, you kind of want to know, like, I want to know that I'm putting myself or putting my time and effort and energy into something that's legit, right? And I think that's one of the neat things about competing still. Not everybody has to compete to be real or anything like that. But for you guys that watch me online, it's kind of neat to see where you can be like, okay, I, I learned this move from him on YouTube. Does, he, does this stuff really work? Does he really use this? You can watch me a lot of times use the same stuff, right? Like these matches that I had this weekend. If you were to go and watch my matches, you could find every single successful technique that I used in those matches. You could find that somewhere on my channel because it's there. I sell stuff online, right? Like products where I go like deep into positions and techniques, right? And then you can be like, well, does he actually use this stuff? This weekend, I used a lot of like my wrestling for jiu-jitsu, which I probably should rename because it's more than just like takedowns. It's like takedowns and like guard pulls to sweeps and stuff like that. But... In that series, I show all this different stuff, and I used every, all the techniques that I used on the feet to dictate position or get a takedown or get a guard pull to a sweep. I used it this weekend, right? So you can see, oh, he's actually using the stuff that he sells too. It's not just, it's not just BS. And even like I talk about the mental stuff, and I talk about dusting yourself off when you lose, you know, getting up and doing it again. Well, when Tim Spriggs caught me in a beautiful guillotine choke. I hate that it was done to me because like, I, I, it's such a beautiful choke. He just jumped up, boom, snagged it. I kind of bounced and hit my head on the mat a little bit, and I got up, and I was kind of seeing some stars. I gave him a handshake, told him good luck in the finals, go get it. I walked over, and then they were calling me for my, my match in, on mat one, so it was across the, the, you know, we were on mat three, and mat one was where I was going to have my third place match. I walked my butt over there and competed for uh, third place and, and won that match. And so, again, dusted myself off and went and did it. So... I'm sharing this with you guys because, again, I think it's super important, like, because I know for me, like, when I put my trust into someone, I want to know that they're real. I don't want to, like, be putting my trust into someone that's, like, full of shit. And I'm sure for you guys, it's probably very much the same. And one of the things I think it's kind of cool is, like, with the competitions, like, you can see me doing the stuff. You can see me using the stuff that I teach, some of the stuff I talk about. It's not just, you know, it's not just talk. I, uh, I, I walk my own walk, right? The stuff that I say, I'm doing it. So... I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, again, big shout out to you guys that were there at the tournament that came up and said, hey, Tom, Mark, and a lot of you guys, it was awesome. There was like a, you know, along with a few guys that I know, there was like a little like chewy group over there, like, you know, cheering for me during the matches. And that, and that was pretty cool. It was really awesome to, uh, to meet you guys and to uh, talk a bit. And uh, guys, um, I'll see you guys later this week. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.